Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Video Game Collectors Podcast. Uh, I'm Matt Rose. With me is Josh Byerly. Yep, hello, I'm here. <laughs> and you can feel the excitement in the air. What? <laughs> so excited. We, uh, we definitely wanted to go over signature auctions, and I know it's been, what, a week, basically. Um, it's, yeah, a t- it's, been a, it's been a week. It's a tough one to go over because there's, you know, what are there, 497 games. Um, we don't want to waste – I mean, that's a lot of time. Uh, we were definitely burnt out because we sat there and watched from start to finish on all of them. Um, and that, that was uh, – man, that was, that was a long time. And then on top of that, we watched the, the weeklies right after and then uh, one other auction. So we're a little bit burnt. So we just wanted to go over kind of the cream of the crop of it. And most of you have already heard of the sales, but uh, we just wanted to run down. Um, how does that sound to you, Josh? It's good. You just scroll through them and then let's, um, let's talk about what we like. Sweet. All right. <laughs> or, or not like, I guess. But, or... I, I'm a, yeah, all the controversy and whatever. Uh, so... <laughs> controversy that's stupid all right let's let's roll at it here we go uh obviously the biggest Mm -hmm. one the one everybody's talking about the one you're seeing threads on super mario 64 uh one million five hundred and sixty thousand dollars for a video game yeah, I, I, man, I'm really surprised they just didn't push that another forty thousand and get it up there at one point six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going one, one point five, six, why not just push it a little more? Uh, I don't why, know. Um, why isn't it higher? That's the question we should be asking. <laughs> why isn't this higher? Why isn't this more? <laughs> it is a nine eight a plus plus. Um. How Josh, tell me, how hard is that to get uh, <laughs> in an N64 game? Seriously. It's pretty hard. I haven't got one. So yeah. I upgraded a bunch of 64. 988++ on any Nintendo 64 is a hard grade because their boxes are garbage. Yeah, it's basically. Um, I mean, it makes sense for a garbage system. So I, <laughs> wow. <laughs> everybody's like the top five games are some of the best games ever made. I'm like, yeah, there's only five good games on the system. So uh, but that's aside the point. Super Mario 64, I think, is one of the greatest video games ever made. Uh, it's Mario 3D for the first time, and every kid lost their shit when yep. it came out. Oh. Um, myself included. When the Nintendo 64 came out, I did not get a system. Uh, but over Christmas break, I convinced my parents to rent one for us, and... Uh, my friend and I, we rented Mario 64 and we played it, um, I think, like five days straight. I think we beat <laughs> it, got stars and shit. Wow. But it was, I mean, it's a, what a, what a great game. It's difficult, it's different, it's unique, um, iconic, and it plays right into the um, generation that is buying games like this, I guess, for $1.5 million. I, I'm blown away. I did not think this would be the first million dollar video game I'd be talking about. I thought it was going to be something like a gold Nintendo World Championship cartridge or a hang tab Mario. Or maybe Zelda. the Zelda. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. Um, but not Mario 64. We just were like, hey, let's just cruise right past Super Nintendo and go right <laughs> on to Nintendo 64. So there you have it. What what was our what was our guesses on this one when we were doing over unders? We we were thinking what generally maybe three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. That's kind no, of no, no, nobody. I mean, we did the over under thing on the clubhouse, yep. and everybody. I think they were saying like two fifty, okay, three hundred. I'm like, this thing is going to go for over five hundred, and everybody thought I was crazy. <laughs> um, I thought it. I really realistically thought it was going to go for like five hundred thousand dollars. Um, I, I just did. I thought that that it had the right, it was right time, right place for something like this to go batshit crazy. And boy, was I off by a million dollars. So, um, that's insane. Yep. That's absolutely insane. Um, can we, can we, 
say that, you know, there's so much questioning on this, you know, people are saying, Oh, it was a fraud, you know, it was a show. Um, nobody's going to fraud pay. money and laundry yeah. shill bid or nobody's going to heritage bought it to put in their vault to bring back out when they can sell it for 3 million, which is, that's just, I mean, this is all just ridiculous. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Can we confirm or not confirm that it was? Sold? I, I don't know one way or another, but I okay. just, I, I'm sure it was paid for, but all I'm saying is it's, it's absolutely horseshit. People calling stuff happen like this happened for this reason or the Illuminati is involved and <laughs> I, I, it's just stupid. You guys sound like a bunch of dumb shits saying that. I'm sorry you do. Money laundering does not work by putting your money into a bank account and buying a video game. So if you think it's money laundering, and you would be a very bad criminal. I, I understand when when something reaches a point in somebody's mind and they, they need to justify it somehow in their mind. And, you know, I, I, can, I can understand and see that that's the fastest way they can justify it in their mind without sitting there and having to really think about it in depth as to why this really sold for that. Sure. I mean... My question to these people, did they miss all of 2020? <laughs> I mean, did they know, see right? what happened with prices in every collectible? But that's did they, just, did, I guess maybe they didn't. Maybe they're just, just yeah, surprised. They, did. they didn't. They're not they're not in the trenches, you know, like a lot a lot of collectors are, you know. Um that's why we're covering a lot of this stuff too, is to Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, what did the Marvel book go for? The Marvel Comics one, it, was, it sold for like one point three million dollars. Yeah, a year ago. So, <laughs> I <laughs> I expect Zelda to go for a million dollars. I guess I yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I, I just I I did honestly think it was going to be a a Super Mario that was going to you know hit the first million mark, but I did not expect. Super Mario 64. Well, I, I mean, let's go back to the grade here. You get a 9.8 A++. That's so crazy. There you go, I guess. that's People are paying the premium on the, this sharp corner box without any bends or creases or... Sure, it's an anomaly. Fuckery. It's an um, anomaly. It really but is. My, I think my favorite thing with all of this are people posting their pictures on Instagram or Facebook saying, man... I don't think I'll be able to grade this now because I can't pay $30,000 in grading fees, but why is not going to do that? You don't have a nine eight either. I don't care how many VGA nineties, 85 pluses and even 95s are out there that might cross to a lot of 9.8 a plus plus. So yeah. um, I have seen some 95s that look good. I yeah. think they would cross, but I think that list is smaller than people actually consider. And where did these nine eights come from? I mean, I'm just putting that out there. I, if I had to guess, the the this nine eight was a cross. So, um, I would uh, take one of those ninety fives off the list. Yeah. So, um, we. I, I think I know where the others would be too. But yeah, and I can yeah. safely say that one of those ninety fives is not going to go anywhere. The yeah. U95 probably won't go anywhere. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. I think there's a c couple more 95s. Yeah. So. The, the crazy part is, is the, um, I'd really like to pull it up. I wonder if I could, here, just let I, me do it. Yeah, go for it. But I, let, I mean, does that make the next one that sells a $1.6 million game? No, not necessarily. <laughs> but I, I just realistically, you're you're gonna say there, there's gonna be single digit digit populations in a grade like this. So yeah. sure, let it, it be 150, 1.5 million dollars. It is such an anomaly. And then you can see here, you know, I like bringing this up because a lot of people are focused on that and then thinking, oh, their Mario is worth a million. But let's just right. hop over to an eight five eight plus that same auction exact same auction so there really shouldn't be too much difference here um you know just in the crowd and who's paying for what and everything so eight five a plus and that goes for thirty one thousand. Mm -hmm. um yeah right i mean you got there's people in this world that they want the top of the top where they don't want it right yep and if they want a copy 
they're going to get the top and they're going to throw down the gauntlet. Yep. But if they yep. decide they just want to get a copy, they're just going to get a copy. And maybe mm-hmm. that's what they're going to do is buy this 8.5. Especially, so, on, a super, I, especially on a super super title, you know? Yeah, that, realistically, 8.5, A plus Super Mario 64 going for $31,000 is absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, that's it. I'm a very passionate foul language person tonight but that is <laughs> that is a nuts number and then yeah. you get a player's choice nine four eight plus plus going for 28 grand that so 29,000 nearly so this is that was insane this that is, is insane that is dumb That's... I, i'm okay it's a player's choice it's a million seller game it's nice that's just a stupid price for that copy i don't like calling people dumb for spending their money but I, I'm sorry if somebody's listening to this and they bought that, but I, I think that is a bad buy at 28 grand on a player's choice. So I think this 80A plus, I mean, a $1.5 million copy elevates all other copies, right? Sure, Prices sure. are up. It. I think that it not only elevates all their copies, it elevates all Mario's, all pop, popular intellectual property, first party intellectual property by Nintendo. So I think we'll see a big push on the popular stuff going forward. Yeah. So, okay. 18 grand for an 8 Yeah. What's this other, what's this nine, what this nine, six sell for down here, Matt? There's nine, Player's six, choice. plus, plus. Ooh, 13,200. That was a different auction. Uh, no, was it? Oh. No, it wasn't. What? What is that? It's not a different auction. It's July 11th. Where'd that sneak in? What? So, wait a minute. I didn't even notice this before. What the hell? So, this 94A++ sells for 28800 This 96A++ sells for thirteen two. Was Was the 94 on the internet? <laughs> I think so. Or yeah. the, the floor? was it? No, that was on the floor, and this was in the internet session. Yeah, this is floor. This is internet. Oh. Can you believe that? Somebody didn't want to stick around for the internet. Wow. I, um, didn't, I didn't notice that until now. Wow. Okay. okay. What do you think? 496 A++. What's that? What do you think about this price, though? Seriously. 13,096 A++. It is a player's choice. More in line. You're still thinking like five grand, right? I'm thinking like five grand. Yeah, that's what I thought. But that was two months ago pricing, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, come back to me. I mean, I've been dumb in this before. I told people when they wanted to buy Mario oval seals that they shouldn't pay over $1,000 for them. <laughs> you know, I've been there <laughs> because I wouldn't buy them for $800. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I okay. Know. We both missed out on that. Um, let's talk about Zelda for a minute. This is cool. Hell yeah. This is the one love. This is the one we were expecting to possibly hit a million, really. Yeah. I mean, here's the deal. You got a 9.0A. If you get the 85A plus or the 90B, it's not doing something like this. I think and, this is like the bottom number that you can see and be like, okay, right? So this went for $870,000. Now, what makes this one special, Matt? Can you tell me? Uh, it is not a Reve. It is what? Second print? Yeah, essentially a second print. Second, possibly third. Um, yeah. I'd say potato, potato, right? Like, yeah, yeah. There's some, some round. So next to entertainment system, you can see that there's a circle R down at the bottom. Let me zoom in here for those who are actually... Ooh. Wow. Uh, so th- this this has an R right here. Uh, yep. let, let's see if I can hold on one second. That's okay, Matt. So that's that's it, right? Circle R gets a square. And right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so if that's a TM, this game goes for two million. No, it goes slightly under Mario sixty four. Jesus. Um, yeah, I have no idea what you know is going to go for. It goes for more than a million, though. We would guess. 
Yeah, I think so. I think that if this, I think that if this is a nine to eight plus, it went for more than a million. So I, I think that the getting a a no rev anything is a really special game. It's, yeah. um, you know, it, we're just fortunate that we know that there is a first version with um, uniqueness to cart box and manual on that game. Yeah. Now we um, now can we say. Yeah, it's public knowledge whose game this was, correct? Yeah, it was Wade's. Yeah, Wade's. And also, for clarity, the, this uh, Mario 64 was also Wade's. So yeah. <laughs> congrats, I mean, to, congrats to Wade for making two incredible purchases. He's probably sitting somewhere in the, in the Bahamas right now on an island, just taking a break. <laughs> he <Yeah>. should. <laughs> yeah, that's okay because I'm getting all the deals. Because <laughs> he's not around buying them up now. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's um, that's just that's still insane. a pretty disgusting number. Absolutely. Yeah. Th- think of when we used to be able to find these online. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this into a little perspective here, Matt. Sure. I bought my house in 2017. We mm-hmm. live in it. it's a wonderful house. It needs tons of work, and it's always a project. It's it was built in 1960, and everything needs redone in it. It's a Fantastic house. We paid four hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars for it. Oh, we just had it refinanced. Got a great rate. Uh, we had it reappraised, and the appraisal came back at eight hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars. This game sold for more than my house is worth <laughs> based on the appraisal today in a crazy swinging nuts market of houses. So, and you could have bought this game too back in the day. I just want to throw that out there. For probably, eh, you might have had to pay a thousand back then, maybe. Nah. Maybe, yeah. No, well, no reves were always hard to find. Sure, yeah. That's no joke. Reves were difficult. Ovals were like, I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars for an oval. That was yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, if it had the cool round seal on it, people were into it, right? So. Yep. Um. Very true. Yeah. Zelda's no slouch on any version. And Man, what a great game. Yeah, it is. I mean, wow. And still going on, really. And I just think about the gameplay of this, you know. When you go in the dungeons and then you walk down the ladders, the stairs or the, the ladder to go get the whatever, the candle or boomerang or whatever shit you get in each one. What a fun game. And what's I don't know if you remember it, but I remember going into like, was it KB Toys or Kmart? And you go, you're going beelining for the electronics, you know, Nintendo, whatever. Mm-hmm. And typically up on the screen, I would always remember Zelda playing, like, you know, just kind of running through or people playing it. And I don't know why I never bought it, but it was always, you know, you always just kind of looked at it and reveled at it. Yeah, it was- the, the, you're right, you did. Yeah. But the, if you actually want the first version of Zelda, you want to get the Famicom Disk System version of The Legend of Zelda. Hmm. So that's what you want to go for. Um, and it actually, I think you can go look it up on YouTube, but if you listen to the sound on it, it's way different and way cool because they have a different, they have like a separate audio channel for the intro. Intro. The game. Yeah, it's different. It's pretty neat. Hmm. Okay. Um, so the first two games were Wades. Is this Wades too? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. So <laughs> Super Mario World 94 A plus. Um, it is a three line warranty, making this a uh oh second print of this game. Oh. So Did sorry, it it? somebody you bought a Mario World second print for three hundred sixty thousand dollars, but not really. It's not a big deal. Because sealed Mario, Super Mario Worlds are very Crazy. difficult to find. Yeah. High-grade sealed Super Mario Worlds are very difficult to find. Yeah. Um, I. What's the What's the first print? Four line. Four line. So. And that's yeah. on the back. Yeah, it's on the back. So you see that little red box down there. Let me uh, zoom in here. This red box right here. Yeah, that little son of a bitch. Yep. Limited yeah, warranty. 
the other ones, and it's only on first party games. The other ones are four lines. Okay. So, so right there. Four lines of text in that little red box. That's the difference. Um, uh, the the second release of this is actually a really short print window and actually harder to find. I don't think we want to watch that. No, I don't uh, want to watch that. But that's, that's a great cover, a great game, iconic. Lots, yeah. of, mem- lots of memories. Lots Absol- of memories. There's $360,000 worth of memories right there. Yeah. How do you feel about this price for this? More in line? What kind of high I would have feel? thought it was crazy if this was the highest item in the auction. So, um, I don't know. Sure. All right. I think a nine eight goes batshit crazy. Oh, absolutely. I think nine four is a great grade on this. I'd keep one. If I had it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, just for kind of perspective, how many do you think there is a nine eight? Do you think? I don't. Maybe a player's choice, but not a not a first print. Not not this sucker. Yep. Not not a black label. I hate that that term is whatever. Overused. The an original release. So yep. picking apart print runs on something like this is like deciding which booger to eat when you pull it out of your nose. So <laughs> wow. uh, it doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> what a reference <laughs> you get a booger you just take it right? you just you just eat it that's how it goes um uh, do we need to go over the mario bros i don't Super i think mario this bros. is a, yeah, sure it's all it's a 90a okay. and it's a no rev three screw flat back um if it's you look price. next to that entertainment system there it says tm still so this is a this is a really strange small super small print window and if you're doing mario variants and you want to get sealed mario variants this might have been your only one chance. of three chances ever to buy the sealed game but yep crazy i sound like a dumb shit talking about this stuff <laughs> but I, realistically i it, it's a it's a hard to find variant but it two hundred twenty eight thousand dollars is a lot of money and i think these have been selling up in that echelon for a while now. Yeah. Um, rev A, no rev, whatever, round seal, Mario, Super Mario Brothers are hard to find. Hang tabs are hard to find. These oh, ovals are not. Yeah, hang tabs are insane. Um, if it's round, go to town, I always say. <laughs> You could take that so many ways. Sorry, that's really yeah. Weird. I was gonna go somewhere with that, but I decided not to. Um, no, I don't want to talk about this stupid shit. <laughs> you don't want to talk about Oracle of Time, or or sorry, Ocarina of Time, Oracle, Oracle. Of- Oracle. Oh, I'm gonna hear the hate mail on that one. Yeah. All right. If 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 I could find an actual DeLorean with a flat flux capacitor, I would go back in time. And make sure that this game was never made. <laughs> I've never played it, so I have no input on this. <laughs> but that's a hell of a grade, and two hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars for nine eight eight plus plus. Yeah, Nintendo was like, "Hey, Mario sixty four seemed to work when we did this kind of strange three D open thing. world. Go to these different levels that aren't part of the Mario universe." Let's try to apply that to Zelda and then make it so you can't jump. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then let's make the game really, really boringly long and hmm. stupid. And that's and, what they did. And this was the one with the uh, collector's uh, yeah, version? Yeah, the collector's version. I had the collector's version. That's what I had. And I played it and I beat it and I thought it was a dumb game. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. There's the summary yep. on that. I do. I want to touch on Final Fantasy for sure. Like, I think it's time yeah. that th- this broke out, honestly, because for, to me, it felt like for the longest time, um, mind you, this is an anomaly. A nine eight eight plus plus in a Final Fantasy see, to me is absurd, mm-hmm. uh, mainly because of all the pack-ins on this. Uh, the box typically kind of bubbled out a bit, and it was so it was just incredibly hard to get 
something so nice in this. Um, I agree, Matt. And I think Dragon Warrior is the same way. I think yep. people are, Dragon Warrior hasn't had its day yet where <laughs> you get a 988++ of that. And then you realize like people will see how hard uh, high grade it is to get on something like this. The, yeah, the ones yeah. that are just bursting to get out of the plastic, man. So, yeah. Two, uh, $204,000, 988 plus plus. I don't know that you're going to see another one. That's insane. Final Fantasy, first print. Um, start this, was of, Wade. this was Wade's as well. Wow. Um, yeah. Wade just crushing this auction. Um, I hope that's okay for me to say because they did tell me this was his. So. Okay. Uh, I think it was pretty public trade when he made the trade for this. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was all over Facebook, I believe. Mm-hmm. But okay. this, this was just. Uh, I mean, it was it was time for this franchise to to break out. Um, mm-hmm. That being said, yeah, I. Obviously, I'm personally excited because I have a copy. I don't know if it's this high of grade. I doubt it. So but, I don't think you can afford to grade it now because you definitely have a 988 plus plus, Matt. No, I don't think it is. I, I would hope. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but, uh, and there is, it, keep in mind, there is a huge disparity because there were a couple other Final Fantasies in this auction, I believe. Um, and the ones, what, what was the next grade down? Do you care if I look? I don't care. I just want to kind of display the uh, uh, yeah, this was in July 9th. So same auction, um, I think same day. No, I, this might have been moved to Sunday just because they had the, the issues. 9-4-A plus, uh, I, I know. Um, That's still a lot. 22,200. So that huge price difference. So that just kind of, you know, gives you an idea of what people are willing to pay for that premium 9-8-A plus plus. Right, but huge price difference from the last Final Fantasy nine four A plus mm-hmm. sold, which, which was what I want to say was eight grand. Yeah, well, it's it, it, that's insane. I mean, look at that price difference. Yeah, we get this nine eight eight plus plus just going. Yeah, yeah, whatever the hell it did, and but look at the last nine four A plus sold for. That's where the price jumps are that people aren't really seeing. Yeah, I'm that, just looking you know, at like, signatures. Like, oh, yeah, that only sold for $22,000? No, it sold for, I can't even do math, Twelve grand more than what it sold for before. Fourteen, 14 grand. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, to me, that, to me it's, it's nice to see just because it's such a huge franchise, and this is where it all started. Yeah. Um, yep. I, I mean, if the Mario's and everything else, and Mario, that's kind of in its own, but I mean, you're seeing turtles and everything else pop off, but Final Fantasy was still just kind of, you know, yeah. it was a little low to me compared to how everything else was raising up. So this, to me, was nice to see. Um, it makes sense. When I first started video game collecting and going into the local game store here, Video Games Plus, that was, I was probably in sixth or seventh grade i remember trying to track down a copy of final fantasy because i wanted because it was a rare game right in our eyes this is before rarity list but it was it was like a game that always had value after the fact and then you know during the life of the super nintendo and during the ps1 so you'd go in and look for this game and they in 96 97 there'd be price stickers of like $50 for a cartridge on this because it had the <laughs> RPG fanboy effect going. Um, it's a great game. I, Final I, Fantasy one is a great game. Yeah. I personally, I agree. yeah, this is one of my, this is one of my uh, top, top fives all time. Um, just because, I dumped hours into this. Yeah. yeah. I loved it personally. Dude, when you, if you played Dragon Warrior and then you went and played Final Fantasy, you were like, Dragon Warrior sucks. <laughs> yeah, stuff. it did. It did one up. Dragon Warrior, but that holds a big place in my heart as well. Not that that matters, but I remember Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior is probably the very first RPG I ever played. Uh, the The talk in school when we were playing it was like, Edric's armor. Do you know where it is? You know, have you found any pieces of it? I wonder if we can get it. I wonder how powerful it. You know, it's just like it was fun though. It was fun that there were these little secrets somewhere on this map, and you had no idea where they were. 
back then we didn't have the internet yeah we had the back of the bus man yeah and you you drew your maps until nintendo power came out and you know they were giving you maps that was different that was a game changer um but yeah we were just sharing yeah crazy times great memories i don't want to go too too much of a tangent uh nwc that's okay man i like your tangents i i think that this undersold by about twenty five to thirty thousand dollars hundred and eighty thousand dollars i expected this to clear two hundred eight point oh i i just think it's time do you mario 64 going for a million dollars these are way more rare yeah i think they are also arguably more important in a piece of video gaming history too so um, not to say mario 64 is not important but this is it's the trophy man come on this is this would be the highest one sold thus far though correct yeah i mean rally or not rally otis put theirs out there on their um, fractional share platform i think it funded 200 something in like an hour wow okay yeah. so and they well, launched it right after the sale so okay um theirs was an eight five. Oh wow that, that's a hell of a grade yep a hell of a grade that's insane yeah wow all right well yeah okay it's crazy cool. it's crazy from back when we used to be able to buy them for four thousand bucks four thousand where are you turned there like five thousand you're crazy yeah okay. um i think this game mario arcade i think that's undersold you were big you time. were you were big on this one i think you I were was. hoping that this was going to 500 was that what you I, were I, I i'm glad it didn't you know what but there's no way that this ever comes back up for sale and sells for 200 or less ever not a hang tab original mario arcade People nine, are sleeping. This nine, says oh, A plus. This Hang copy tab. on the back says moisture damage, and it's oh, it's just ah, uh, one hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. So the zoom moisture. Zoom in by that hate tab. Yeah, zoom yeah. In yeah. On that. yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me get this. It is so slight. Oh wow! They put a tab over the tab. That's painful. That sucks. Well, that's what they always do. Well, it's yeah, but the the moisture damage is so slight on this, like moisture damage light it even says light it's it's like you you have to hold it oops sorry sorry about that. where where is the moisture damage do you know can't even see it now well where is it where am i looking it's, it's up by the hang tab but you can't even tell when it's in the holder and it's so slight you have so to is it like it in one of these corners like some moisture no, it's just around around the edges of where the hang tab was i believe oh like up here um yeah and it, it was just really slight but this copy dude looks like a 9.4 and a little bit of moisture damage brings it down to 9.0 i mean it, i guess i mean that's what the grade is but that's a i think those words even, moisture damage you know scared people off maybe just yeah i think so too that sucks let's be clear moisture damage is not mold it's moisture damage so uh, something caused it to have the ripple effect across it and i you you could probably you probably don't even know this but if you collect any sort of video game and you have over 100 games on your shelf there's probably one game in there that has some sort of moisture issue to it sure just That's to the box. There might be a stain on it. There might be a little ripple or waviness to it. it. May have been stored improperly in humidity or in your grandfather's basement in Tennessee, for all you know. So it just it's not that severe. Um, one hundred fifty-six thousand dollars. I think is cheap. That's a lot of money, but I, I think that the, for the title and for the variant being a hang tab. And yep. literally a hang tab black box you never see, and it being Mario going for one fifty six is a crying shame. How many? Honest, honestly, because I don't know that I've seen more than maybe one in in twelve years of collecting. Yeah, didn't Blarky Eric put out post a VGA old VGA pop list as of July 
2019. Let me see if I pull it up here real quick. Sure. Um, I want to say that there was like six or seven graded copies of Mario Bros. So just in uh, general, not for not... hang tab. No, well, oh. I'm way off. So the oh, that's 2013. Let's go to 2019 here. Okay. 2019 Mario Bros. Yeah, there was two hang tabs graded at the time. <laughs> In Jul oh no, wait, that's 2000. How come 2019 is not coming up? Oh, they haven't graded one since 2016, is what it's saying. Wow. Um, and very likely that some of the, there might be a couple other hang tabs out there that are um, not noted on here because there's the black silver Nintendo seal is what they called them before. Just that, your round seal. But a lot of those early ones that VGA did, if they had a hang tab, they didn't note it. So on the list there, there was 485s, 180 plus, 180, and 175. So this would have um, been an 85. Seven, yeah. So seven copies in the black silver seal variant list. And let's say maybe that one or two of those was a hang tab. But there were quite a few um, round reves that Dove had come out with um, in 2009. Nine, yeah, yep. those were, and I, those are probably a good majority of them over there because some had some had damage, some were nice, yep. um, and then on the other side of things, there's the 85 plus one hang tab, and then there was an 85 sticker seal. So, yeah, I was going to say there. I thought there was a sticker seal per their was. report. Mind you, there may be a couple others in that area. There were only two hang tabs. That's crazy. And this was never, this one that was graded was not in a BJ holder. Uh, I do know of one other one. I think, I think Annie may had a sticker seal, but it was, it was a unique sticker seal because it was a, it was a one code on the back and the other sticker seal is not a one code. So anyway, um, hmm. super, super rare hang tab variant and Everything before it, even the Zelda, there are more copies of. So, whoever bid on that at a hundred and won that for one hundred fifty-six thousand dollars, if you're going for nostalgia factor and rarity, that was the cream of the crop of the auction. And I don't give a shit if it says moisture damage on it. It could be a six-five looking at me like a beautiful video game that it is, and I would have taken it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so that was a deal. Crazy. I'm saying 156,000 is a deal. Steal, man. If I had 156 grand, I would throw it down on a Mario Rose arcade hang tab. But I don't because I'm just a lowly peasant in this video game hustle. <laughs> Soon enough. Soon enough. Um, I don't um. want to talk about Contra. You don't want to talk about Contra? Okay. Well, I'll at least say the price. Okay. First print Contra, 9.8, A+, $150,000. One of the most memorable games for Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. You all know the code. You may have never even played the game. You know the code. Yeah. There's uh, a Fisher-Price toy out there that if you type in the code, the Contra code on it, it will make a power-up sound. For real? Yeah, like a kid's Fisher-Price toy. I didn't know that. Yeah, Google it. You know that is you can, insane. You can find it somewhere on the YouTube. Um, that's I, I'm so sick of looking at Super Mario Brothers. Nine six A plus uh, oval seal Super Mario. I don't know what print this is. Um, One hundred forty four thousand dollars. This is a nine digit zip. Possibly a nine digit zips could be either or with a uh, star code flap. So maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Um, Final Fantasy. Yeah, 988 plus. 988 plus. These are nuts. 144 grand. Whew. Wish I could have saw this one coming. 
That's crazy. De um, I think Dennis was telling this one, telling us that this one was coming because this was this is one of yeah, his top games. Yeah, this is um, the third print of the game. Oh, you get the first print on the back. It says realistic violence. The second print says masterpiece, Let's all jumbled all over the place. And the final version has a masterpiece corrected. And then where would that would that say that down here in the box? No, so. Okay, so first, so scroll up here. Oh, shit. So, okay, okay whoa, 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 whoa. So the second paragraph here, it'll say Squaresoft's multi-million dollar masterpiece is like nothing ever seen. That word masterpiece oh, right here. in the second release of it is all jumbled. The words are all jumbled up, right? Okay. And the I's up by the S. It's, it's just like some somebody didn't correct the layers or something in their print file. Um, and then the first print, scroll down to the um, ESRB on the back here. Sorry, I keep. It's okay, Matt. No. Okay. The ESRB. Yeah, it says mild um, animated violence. Oh. Yep. Right here, yeah. yep. The first prints will say realistic violence. Really? Yep. So will it be realistic violence and the scrambled? Nope. Okay, so I'll just look just like this, and then it'll just say realistic violence. Yep, and then the second print will say animated violence, and then the jumbledness. So this is the last release of it, the so this is corrected third, third version. Print. Okay. Yep. But so a third print just sold for one hundred forty-four thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Crazy. All right, we're almost uh, down under the hundred thousand dollar games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just want to blow through this here. Let's just blow right through this. Super Smash Bros. Nine four A plus plus one hundred forty four thousand dollars. We haven't had a seen. We haven't seen a good comp of this sell yet. So I, Is sure. It, yeah. Uh, that's nuts. I guess. Huge, huge game. Uh, this was awesome to see. This one kind of made me throw up a little in my mouth. Well, yeah, because we could have gotten could how many have copies? Could Peter, man. <laughs> could have bought it from Peter and made a hundred grand on it. Instead, <laughs> he was smart. He pulled it off eBay, and he sent it to Heritage. And it, and how much was he asking uh, on eBay? Wasn't it like thirty or something, or thirty six? Like Twenty or thirty? I don't. I don't remember. But he did pretty good. Good for him. <laughs> Nine four a hundred and forty four thousand dollars Tomb Raider. Yeah. Peter, you can afford to take me out to drinks when I see you. That's awesome. Okay. Pokemon, we've seen it all. Catch them all. Red version, $132,000. Sandshrew version, Matt. It's, it's really important to note that. It's not important to note that. People think it is, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Mar Left Bros, 94B. Just a lowly left rose. God, $120,000. People scared of that plastic, man. I think that this um, underperformed based on past sales of this game. I, I would like to get one. but I Sure. Okay. That's the last $100,000 game, but there are plenty more folks that ended right around $100,000. Yeah. So we yeah. got, let's just, let's just go real quick, Matt. Uh, Link to the Past, Zelda 92A Plus, $96,000. That's the best Zelda game ever made. There you go. That deserves to be a million dollar game, not Mario 64. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go over Pokemon. I no. just not. 94A Plus, Final Fantasy 3, $96,000 as well. Okay. I guess. I. Edo Tyson. Reve round went for $84,000. Ooh. That is nuts. Ooh. <laughs> I get it. That's a low grade selling for a lot of money. Well, I don't want to call this low grade. Low grade is not an 8 -0. A low grade would be a 5 -0, right? This yeah. is a nice copy. I have 8 -0s that look and display very nice, and they have maybe a box slice in them or 
something that keeps it out of the nines that is that's damage but it's not bad so an 80a is a good grade don't lose sight of that but eighty four thousand dollars is a lot of money for an 80 on a rev a round i think the um was it there was a nine two a sold for a hundred and two thousand dollars in a rev a wow so that was the last signature i want to say um uh, Super Mario Land green screen. Let's go there. Nine O A plus. This is a beautiful nine O. I've seen this copy. It has some weird manufacturer's defect on the side, and I think Wada killed the grade on this based on that small defect on the side of the box. I can't see it in the photos. It's on the side that's not shown. But yeah, they noted it because if somebody got it and they're like, "Why is this a nine four? They, I, I think that it's. It's fairly graded, but it displays like a gem. Um, and it's green screen. <laughs> Boom. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I think this game undersold. I don't think you're crazy. I think that if a Super Mario World goes for $360,000, if um, any of those games are going for $300,000 and this thing ends under a hundred, somebody got a deal. This is... Hundred twenty, hundred fifty thousand dollars game because of the variation on it. Super important, iconic first, game. First print. Oh, let's not get too into first, second print, third okay. print on that game. Okay. Green screenshot is what you want. Yep. Uh, one more Tyson uh, oval. Nine yeah, two, nine two eight, eight plus. plus oval went for seventy eight thousand dollars. That's Ooh. a that I think is a record on an oval. That's crazy. Um, I'd love to see a nine eight on a Tyson go any variation. I'd love to see a nine eight on um, any of these games go, but then people are gonna be like, "Why did that go for five hundred thousand dollars? It's a later print." And get all mad at the world. Um, I'm happy for the next one, Tetris. Yeah, nine six a, nine six a. I would have taken this sticker off. Absolutely, I get why some people leave it, but this is a beautiful copy, and I really thought this was going to fly under the radar, but it did not, and it did not disappoint. This is a record by a long shot on a sealed Game Boy Tetris, and these are not easy to find um, because they were all pack-ins, so. Packings with the original releases of uh, the Game Boy systems, which which had the packing with Tetris had one, two, I want to say three or four variations before it went to you can just buy a Game Boy and then pick out what games you want on the shelf, and that's when they released Tetris. So very difficult to find sealed because mm -hmm. everybody at that point was like, "Oh, hey, Tetris with the Game Boy," and then mom who was going to the store to buy you a game boy or your grandma they're like let's get mario so they're buying mario they're not buying tetris yeah um, seventy eight thousand dollars yeah you got some love um i just this i just to touch on it real quick this surprised me personally i guess i'm not i don't know a ton about genesis but is this the highest selling genesis game thus far publicly that's a good point you're probably right Nine six A um, plus turtles the hyper hyperstone heist. Yeah, it's it's um, it plays a lot like um, turtles in time. Ah, okay. But almost directly like it. I think the levels are changed slightly. It's a different game, but uh, sixty six thousand yeah. dollars for a Genesis. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Welcome to the party. There you go. Okay. Um, well, the Tecmo Bowl round seal. Look at that son of a bitch. Yeah, that's awesome. Nine four that eight is. plus forty five thousand six hundred dollars. Matt, you know how hard it is to find a round seal on a Tecmo Bowl. Uh, yeah, I was happy to get my my oval, and mm -hmm. and I was happy to get that a long time ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, so I do know. Oh, this is awesome.
people played these damn games. It was so fun. That's why it's hard to find these sealed, period. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be one of the best games in the future to buy. Yeah. You've got one just chilling on your shelf. Give me a call. I'd like to get one because I have one that is not so nice. And it's an oval seal. And there are three. You do? What grade? Four variations to this game. Um, Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile. Oh, you're not. You, you didn't say your grade. You don't want oh, to it's it. not graded. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I thought you said what game. No, no, no. No. Okay. So we're okay, Matt. Going. I think we should probably cut it off at $45,000. Yeah. I mean, we can cut it off here. That's fine. So that's it. I mean, yeah, we let's, have... let's look at Excite Bike here. Did you see what that did? Uh, Opal Excite Bike 988. That's great. Is 43 nuts. grand. Um, I think we talked about this one. Everybody's like, oh, we did an over under on it, and people were saying, 20. oh, 20. And everybody's like, over, over, over. And then Dan changed it to, 35 and everybody's like under and i go now this thing's gonna go for 50 went for 43 so i'm feeling pretty happy about it 988 plus is crazy for an excite bike yeah and there there really aren't a lot of excite bikes so sure yeah maybe in the eye of people that collected for the last 12 20 years. 15 10 years yeah like oh i can get an old excite bike maybe we used to be able to, but back then you would have to spend, even then, you know, at, at times somewhere between uh, around a thousand dollars. Um, I remember yeah, there were 11 ovals on the pop report for VGA. Yeah. But a thousand bucks was a ton of money back then for, you were just like, I don't think so. I mean, people are foolish to just, even the VGA pop report to consider that this stuff was at all relatively common. Excite bike in general, there was two stickers, which Nairman bought, I believe. Yeah. I think an oval and a gloss. Or a matte and a gloss. <clears throat> so there's two. There was two hang tabs in 85 plus. Um, I, I don't know what I haven't seen those. So that's four. Then black silver Nintendo seal, which is a round seal, Rev A's, typically. Um, there were three. Wow. Five, seven. So that's eight. That's 15. Two and one. So 18, 18. plus four. You're at 21 copies, right? Yep. No, 22. 22. Um, and then the oval seals, there's um, six, four is 10. Plus five, 15, 16 copies. Wow. Okay, so 22 and 16 on sealed Excite bikes. 38. 38. I know a bunch have been crossed as well. But let's not get into that. Let's just say this was a pretty good data point from, you know, that they, they tracked this stuff from 2013. Because I'm not going to say they didn't. It wasn't a good thing because they tracked this. 38 copies of one of the greatest video games ever made. The third most identifiable black box ever game, black box game ever made is not very many copies. Any that's, variation. That's crazy to think about. It is, right? Yeah. There are a hell of a lot more than 38 people who played and loved that video game that are now doing sealed video games. You know, I wonder if we kind of refer back and say, oh, it's common because there were just like one or maybe two copies sitting on eBay back in the day, but they sat on eBay because oh. at the time they were overpriced. No, we, we infer the commonness because we were collectors that wanted hang tabs yeah. in the games. And we were like, oh, that's a, oh, that's, ugh, I don't want that. <laughs> so... We, we just inferred that these were readily available. And there was not, at the time, there, there probably wasn't 38 people that wanted to buy a sealed Excite bike. No. But since the way this has grown, sealed games have taken on a life form of their own. Those 38 copies get gobbled up. Oh, yeah, they're, they're gone. gone. Good luck. So. Okay, enough of that. Matt, yep. I'm yep, we're done. very tired. Sorry, dude. It's all good, man. We just okay. I, I just really wanted to touch on it because we had it was a good talk. It's it's okay. one of the 
the biggest auctions ever for video games. So, you know, mm-hmm. it makes great sense sales. That, makes sense that we would talk about it. Uh, we well, what we really wanted was, uh, you know, Dan Kaplan to come on the show, uh, but he was busy convincing Arnold Schwarzenegger that it is a tumor. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> you did the chopper. <laughs> Sorry, that was a uh, kindergarten cop reference. <laughs> You're allowed because you live in the general vicinity of. Yeah, I was. I figured our age group might pick that up. Maybe they don't. I I went over my head. I'll try harder next time. Yeah, just leave them to commando quotes or something, please. <laughs> I got a better one for next time. Okay. So that's it. <sighs> Sunday, we're tired. Been talking video games for multiple weeks now. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching. Yeah. Uh, what do you think it. of the, the, um, we got to touch on a little bit, like the, uh, acquisition. Oh um, yeah. Why that company of that water company? Yeah. That guy, that, those guys, those guys, guys those crazy guys, somebody owns that. Um, part of the, is it just part of the scam? <laughs> is water being bought out right after CGC? mentions that they're going to start grading video games um I because think, they obviously saw that announcement and said god damn it we have to go figure out how to sell right now and I, then like two days later there's a deal because that's how the world works when you sell a company i i think right. that maybe we know too much to share anything or maybe we don't maybe no, i don't know well, anything I, I just think no i just i don't know if we know too much but um, I, I, I don't w- feel like I know too much on any of it. I just, I think I, it's short-sighted to pretend that. I, I would say knowing on, in general, on sales of businesses that, you know, something like this, especially the sale of WADA, that doesn't happen in a couple of days. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, a sale like this uh, takes upward of, of six months to a year easily. Um, now it could be shorter. Sure. That's possible. A couple days, no chance, no chance. Yeah. There literally is no chance of that. Uh, I would say that this sale honestly was probably a, a year plus in the works. That was sure. Be- but all the fanboy neck beard, armchair keyboard warrior pieces of shit out there <laughs> are going to pretend that everything was created and orchestrated all at once and released all at once because you know, People are making video game collecting not fun. Yeah, you know. Stuff. That's what they're going to say. And they're going to post in YouTube comments and they can eat a dick. That, so. <laughs> that's fine. I, I, like I said before, I understand when somebody's emotional and, you know, the I, mentally we like to try and figure things out as efficiently as possible. And so you want to come to, an, to a conclusion in your head as quickly as possible it makes the most sense to you. So you can just kind of write that off, put it in the back, use that as your excuse and move on rather than take the time to actually think through what you're saying and put some thought into something. I understand that. I've been on both sides of that. So I can't, I can't rip into it because I've been guilty multiple times, but I understand. Um, but if you take the time and you really think out what you're saying and really maybe play both sides. Uh, you might come to a different conclusion. I can promise you that this sale was easily a year long, easily. Yeah. You know what I think a lot of it tells me um, with, with what you said in reference to um, people writing out what they say and not really thinking about it and just putting it out there and saying it without putting any thought process into it. What it tells me is that um, the majority of video game collectors that get on the internet and type shit out are just really dumb people um this this might sound bad i wouldn't say dumb no Um, ignorant um and ignorant isn't necessarily a bad term it just you can be used you could it can be used bad and dumb is a nicer term I, i know it sounds bad but it's just ignorant and that just means that you know you're just not you just don't know you're just you're not thinking you're yeah. yeah. Put uh, 
I guess that's about as mean as I could ever be. And I'm not trying to be Ign- mean at all. Ignorant I, is worse as mean. To, to me, because ignorant. Ignorant implies a little bit of intelligence um, and you're just choosing to ignore when stupidity is realistically, you can't blame someone for being a dumb shit. So. <laughs> I, I, yeah. So more than anything, I, I guess I should be empathetic to people that <laughs> I just honestly to figure out um, to me it's just a, it, it, it's just emotion and not thinking um, that's all and I'm I'm guilty of it as well so I'm not going to yeah. cast a stone that's fine I am I'm going to throw all the stones that's okay that's why we have you and then we have me it's like good cop bad cop you know yeah yeah <laughs> so hate mail goes to Josh by the way hate mail goes um, to me I've been um, only <laughs> threatened by one lawsuit this week so it's fine. only one really only one, yeah. wow you're gonna have to tell me about that later it's just, i say what i feel in my opinion sometimes come across as a lawsuit though yeah Can't wow no, I'm just oh, wow <laughs> i didn't i didn't know about that one um did you oh by the way did Maybe you have not necessarily a lawsuit but in so many words i don't know why wow um i'm sorry uh did you have any wins this week you have to have some wins anything it's kind of tradition here Come on. Hmm. we still do have a giveaway going on uh leave a sealed game from michael allen um yes. much thanks to our fifth biggest listener uh, I, got a, I did get one hold on how you win this game we're kind of continuing this on we'll send this to you for free i'll pay the shipping that's fine we're just looking for thoughts come and just make it make a comment down below the video make something funny um in any of our videos well i shouldn't say that it's only been the last two videos and then this one so any of the three videos uh that we've done recently uh just throw a comment down there Something that's grabbing and funny. That, did, did we talk about Shenmue? No, I have no idea yeah. what that even is. It's an Xbox sequel to Shenmue 1 from the Dreamcast. It's a Sega game. Um, Semi-difficult to find sealed for Xbox. I uh, did find out... I think we did talk about this because Dan's like, oh, is that the NFR version? So no, I haven't got anything. I got a Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, Eric sent... Eric posted a link to and i just grabbed it so oh i don't have one um yeah that's it uh, grab something uh, got a total sealed games i'm sure i've got some roof and those aren't worth showing cool stuff here uh i actually did and i actually showed it earlier and he, he might appreciate that i reshow it here no that's not good. um they're kind of wrapped up but i got a couple of ugh, the glare got a couple of socoms here um socoms huh yeah playstation that's, that's a pretty rad that's pretty rad uh, i know i have something Fun and cool. Josh, do you have any of these? I thought this was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think that's cool. That's just me. I mean, the wins don't have to be like crazy valuable or anything. I just, I don't know. That's kind of fun. And then you probably, I, you probably have. Oh, yeah. I got Oregon Trails. I don't have an Oregon Trail too, actually. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Was... Yeah. Is that the um, Scholastic release? Um, how do I tell? Let's say Scholastic on it. No. Okay. It just says education and history. Huh. Well, whatever. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, well, I did get a, I, I always like adding these to my collection. Yeah. Nothing like Horde and Tony Hawks. <laughs> I always say. Uh, I got a small pile. Um, I would have had some lot of stuff back today, but the FedEx person showed up, and uh, we were all in the backyard and decided to just leave a tag. Ooh. And um, 
Anything good? Any? Yeah, it was my it was my water return orders, like my orders I've been waiting for for months. So um, I was pretty excited to see it, and we had dinner. I had family over tonight, and we had nice pulled pork dinner, and we all went outside in the backyard after dinner, and there was like four or five cars in the driveway. You could tell people were at home. The FedEx's driver just decided to leave the note on the door. Could probably hear us in the backyard too. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought maybe old signature I, required. I thought maybe uh, we're getting some fun games in. So what you're what you're telling me there is is that you've been waiting a long time for water games, so you get no special treatment. <laughs> yeah, I actually get worse because they're like, Josh, you need to wait a little. Longer? Yeah, yeah. We know we can convince you to wait longer. <laughs> so to think that you get special treatment or that I get special treatment just because we you know, we're friends with Dennis, whatever. Um, yeah, not the case. <laughs> yeah, actually, it makes it harder because it I can't does. explain to him. So. <laughs> it, it, so we get the shaft, actually, because we yeah, know. I wish I could call him and be like, send my shit back. I want to send me emails too, guys. Come on. <laughs> but I don't because sending an e mean email actually gets you nowhere and probably to the back of the line. So. Be kind in your communications, people. Yep. I should so, heed my own advice sometimes. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Aren't you in a lawsuit now? No, for your... it's not a lawsuit. It's not a lawsuit. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks, everyone, for watching. We appreciate your time. We appreciate you uh, watching this far. You're crazy. Um, but we love you anyway. Good 30 minute episode that turned into an hour. Almost. Yeah. We always come on this honestly and say, Hey, let's keep this to 30 minutes, maybe 40. And we always blow past. Um, it's just fun. We just talk about video games and that's how we roll. That's it. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments. Um, you know, I did get something really cool, Oh, but I'm not wearing it. Sorry. It was, I just looked at my phone and I was texting a dude before we came on. It, um, Brian Sunkel, he sent me randomly. Um, rad guy, by the way. Been around forever. Those Ohio guys, they just, they've been there forever doing video games. He sent me um, an old Brian's Video Trader t-shirt. Um, uh, Brian's case? Brian's Video Trader. Brian Sunkel. Yeah, it was his video game store. And um he not, sent me a message not, back and I not, sent him a photo of it. Not Brian's games though, right? No, you know, not Brian's you, toys you're thinking. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah That's no, the, no, Brian's video game, video trader. And okay. um okay. he said, I hope you like the other shirt too. I dig how subtle the logo is, but don't wear it too often. So he gave me two. I, I'm not sure what the other one is on this shirt, but it must be also a Brian's video trader shirt. But this one, he said I had two set aside and very well may have given you the one with Brian's actual blood stains on it. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, good dude. If you're out there in Ohioville, go visit him in his um, store sometime. Sweet. Yeah. Lots of good people in this. We there, all love this for the greater good. And um, there are, honestly, I've been in a lot of communities and um, honestly, the video game collecting community, for the, for the most part, everybody's fantastic, super nice. I, th I think people yeah. get along because we all have that common connection of video games and you don't feel judged or, or whatever. I get, I feel judged a lot. Oh, well. I, but at the same time, I mean, we can, we all prop ourselves up and try to help each other out. I think and it's not like in a self-serving sit in a room and sniff your own farts sort of way, but it's, I think it's fairly genuine. We do all care for each other it feels like sometimes so yeah yeah it's cool stuff okay all right that's it bye <laughs> that's your sign off <laughs> bye hey thanks bye okay. thanks for watching everyone uh we'll see you again next time